Jumping right into it when it comes with uh, just, you know, playing the game. We're going to be doing the Fire Temple. We're going to be working with the boy, Yanobo. Uh, <laughs> we're looking pretty sick. Um, but yeah, hope you all are doing well. Hope everybody is doing good. Uh, but yeah, let's just uh, jump into it. I also should mention when I was exploring, uh, I accidentally uh, triggered recovering the Master Sword. So I think, if you don't have time, we're going to do that. Uh, let's actually kill the music too. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into it. All right. Uh, also, I did not realize you could do this, but you can literally fight Phantom Ganons and get some like pretty good stuff. Like this bow is pretty sick. And of course, the Gloom Sword is also kind of cool too. You got to be kind of careful the side effects, but 41 base power is actually pretty decent right now. Um, so let's just uh, let's just jump into it with our Royal Claymore. Zish, good to see you, man. Hope you were doing good. How's it going, man? Uh, I think what we're going to do... Yeah, this equipment's fine. To the Fire Temple. Hopefully this is going to be a fun one. Lost Grenadilla rediscovered. We discovered it! We did. We did the thing. We did the thing. Oh, we're just going straight into it. Hell yeah! We don't have to worry about doing like anything else like get into it, so we're good. Uh, let's see. Yanobo. That's where you gotta go-go. -go. That was so cringe. <laughs> um, I I'm pretty sure that's lethal. Only one way to find out. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not that crazy. <laughs> There's something up ahead, Goro. I imagine there probably is. That was probably my least favorite. So far, my least favorite one has been the, uh, the Lightning Temple. No, 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 no. So far, my least favorite one was the Wind Temple. Like, it was cool, but, it, like, I think that's why I had to, like, worry to figure out, like, what to actually do. So far, the Water Temple's actually been my favorite one. The whole Zero Gravity thing I thought was really fun. Um, I guess we'll just have to climb our way out of here. That's fine. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm actually very curious, because it looks like this one has a bunch of, like, Minecraft... Like, you know, mine races and stuff like that. So it might be kind of interesting to see how this all works. Ugh. But yeah, we still have plenty of things to do in this game. Like, I'm actually 60 hours into this game and we're still not even done. Uh, and even then, like, there's just so much to do. So much to see. I'm going to say the Lightning Temple is your least favorite. Yeah, no, the Lightning te So here's the thing. The Lightning Temple was actually pretty cool. I liked how it was kind of... Reminiscent of the Spirit Temple. No, that's the Spirit, the Spirit Tower from Majora's Mask. Yeah, it's not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite by any stretch of the imagination. If anything, the fact they brought back the Gibdos and all the other things I thought was actually pretty interesting. Which, honestly, I think after... This is going to sound really interesting, but after Tears of a Kingdom, I'm actually probably going to play the OG Zelda. It's been far too long, and I, have, I actually need to complete it. The fact that 60 hours is just considered scratching the surface. Seriously, it is. I can't wait to actually pretty much go for like go for the gold. Link, over there. Huh? Of course. <laughs> of course, it's it, it's always Zelda. Who else would it be? Who else would it be? <laughs> oh, I kind of already. I think we're gonna have to use uh, the boy to like just start smashing up that stuff. Not good, not good. Princess Zelda is stuck inside there. We gotta hurry and help her. But how do we get in there, Goro? Uh, that's that's uh, that's something we're gonna figure out here together. Let's do it first. Let's actually activate this. We gotta do the thing. Yes, fast travels but unlocked. Uh, but what are the, like, the mechanisms we have to go for this one? Like, uh, is it, like, uh, switches or something? Or what do we gotta do? We can maddening run fire emblem three houses? So, there you go. Is that, like, the hardest difficulty or something? Oh, we gotta undo the locks. I see what it's doing. Gotcha. Huh? Did you see that? The gate! It moved just a little now, Goro! <gasps> Hear that again? There it is again! 
Madding is the hardest. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Hopefully you have a good time with it. Uh, I actually need to go back and play Three Houses for sure. It's not Daruk. It sounds similar, but it's not Daruk. Ooh. Oh. Five floors. Not too shabby. Huh? Maddening sucks. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Like, one false moment, assuming the whole operation just goes down, right? No denying. I heard it loud and clear this time. But who could it be? And what do they mean by young little rock? Mm. Did tell us how to open the gate. So they can't be all bad, right? So we all gotta do is unlock the five locks and then we get in there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's go find the padlocks here, shall we? Um, any any mine carts in chat? Uh, we got a unicorn horn. Uh, mine cart, mine cart, mine cart. We got a skateboard, so we might have to do some, uh... Oh, I got a bad idea, it's fine. Uh, no mine cart. This is probably our most degraded shield, so I guess we could just bust out. Yeah, we'll just take out this one. Ha ha ha! I swear there's probably gonna be minecarts all over the place anyway, so it's fine. All right, where are we gonna go? Is this one of the padlock devices? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so I'm assuming we just hit it with a uh, Yonabo. Okay. Um, so let's see. Anything that sticks out here? Oh, uh, we could use a send probably right there. Late game is really fun because in the maddening money, you have to fully realize every aspect of the game, but early game is just unfair. Oh, yeah, that makes sense because, like, early game, you're starting off fresh, you know, from the gates. You have real no established foundation besides what you're given and also, like, your own experience with the game already then and there. So, yeah, just, like, having to kind of, like, cope through with that must be extremely, uh... Unbalanced. <laughs> oh, son of a gun! There we go. We actually got a. We actually got a cart. Um, let's see. So, can we actually designate him towards there? Dude, dude, dude. Here. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh, I see what it's doing. So it's actually creating little pathways for us to go through. Neat. Oh my god. Uh, I, I should have just used recall. I should have just used recall. <laughs> uh, I mean, hopefully... What's going to happen when these two collide? Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. It actually makes a pseudo bridge. I love it. All right, cool. There we go. The Flurios is going. <laughs> oh, we get to take a shield, too. Uh, we'll take a sword as well. Just go for it. 1% chance for the important crit. You never felt so high, seriously. Uh, one per like, have you? Did you just get crit at 1%? Is that what happened? What is that thing? It's like a gong. Sorry, I'm back right now playing D by D. No worries, dude. Again, thank you again for the tier 1 sub, the... Gifted sub in the 100 base, dude. Mr. Ryan, thank you so much for that, dude. Uh, I'm doing okay, man. Um, same old, same old stuff. You know, just gaming, working. I've been putting a little bit more effort in trying to learn how to do computer programming. So that's actually been a lot of fun. How are you doing, man? How is the uh, new job head treating you? Any also luck with the construction aspect? And 91% of your tack landing has never felt solo. Uh, I think we need to call a mathematician here. Mythic, thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate you. Enjoy the lurk, my friend. That must be the first Padlod link. Looks like there's four more of us to find. Hell yeah, let's go find the other four. Still working on it. I mean, dude, a uh, there's a, one of my favorite sayings. I don't know where I got it from. Is a, It's called, it's a day forward is a day well spent. So if you're still working on getting it closer, but getting there, that's awesome, dude. I wish you nothing but the best on that, my friend. A day forward is a day well spent. It's so true. It is so true. Uh, let's see. So we'll slap this right over here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm not sure what this thing is. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. That makes sense. And we go forward. 
Um, do I need to hit? Oh, I need to, no, 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 no. We don't need to hit anything right now. We're fine. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. What's that? Oh, it's a Zonite guy. All right. Um, I got you. I got you. Oh, we have the Demon King bow. Uh, we'll switch over to the contract bow. I actually want to hold on to those. <laughs> oh, all right. One thing I really need to focus on at some point is actually upgrading my gear. Like, uh, definitely need to do that at some point. Uh, we got steamed tomatoes. Uh, not steamed hams, for those who are curious. Give me the mushroom shearer. And bam. Uh, it's just a rusty. Uh, we'll hold on to this one. It's like closer. Sweet. Ooh, zone. Wow, it's actually rare to see like zonic devices outside of the little thing. So that's actually pretty cool. Mmm, steam hams. <laughs> one of uh, one of my mods who's not super into the streams these days. There's still like conflicting schedules. Like the dude literally has like the whole steamed hams like entire section like memorized down to the T. Um, every now and then, like I used to live with him too, right? So like might be like uh, out of random, would be like uh. Uh, how does Starf was like, well, Seymour, I made it. Despite your directions. Gosh, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. I hope you're ready for an unforgettable luncheon. Yes. Oh, we gods! My roast is ruined! But what if I were to purchase fast food and use it for disguise as my own cooking? Ho, 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 ho. Delightfully devilish. And we just, like, go off. I don't like he would fill in the gaps. Like, it's just, like, one of those funny things you do. I don't want to use a DLC, but god damn, it feels like designing Madden with the DLC. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you paid for it, you might as well use it. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. So the next floor on floor four is the next item, so we're gonna go up there, too. So let's do that. We actually uh, had steam hams uh, for dinner today. They were they were delicious. Uh, they were from, uh, not you, but, uh, Utica, but from Albany. Uh, we might be dead. If I can land on the right spot, we're not dead. Oh, 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 we're alive! Oh, if this thing goes up quick. Oh my god, we're dead. All right. Have I got the Majora's Mask? I have not. I uh, I actually don't know where to get the Majora's Mask in this game. I found it pretty quickly in uh, Breath of the Wild. But uh, Tears of the Kingdom, I have no idea, man. Uh, does it have the cell the same ability where you just like can be like ghosted from all the enemies? Um, let's see. Mainly and suddenly hard to get this game. It sounds rough. Do I want to know? Uh, if it's a quick response, sure. If you have to type out like a story and a half, don't worry about it. Um, I guess we can use the rocket. Actually, no, no, no. Wait. Uh, we have auto build. Do not mind the. <laughs> There's actually a fun uh, money farming glitch you can do with that, so don't worry about that. Uh, let's go with. I guess this will work. Yeah, we can still do auto build. It's a fight against five Lynels underground. God dang, that's way different than I was expecting. I think I'm good for now. Uh, I mean, it's a cool thing, but... Oh, my God. So, it's like a gauntlet of five Lynels. Do they progressively get harder? Are they the same type of Lynels each time? Oh. 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 That is so cool. Not really. That was actually very unfortunate. You don't want to say? Awesome. I love it. I love it. Uh, can we get closer without becoming Anakin? There we go. We got it. I mean, I feel like if you can take out five Lynels, do you really need the Majora's Mask then? Like, being able to, like, you know, solid snake your way through all the enemies is cool and all. But I feel like at that point, you're just going to be very overpowered. You know what I mean? Uh, Temple Level 5. I think we're good, actually, just to go over here. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let's uh, get the thing. 
So I made the quick response. I mean, he certainly did. He certainly did. I, I don't know if I'd actually do it. I mean, even... I'm assuming it's not going to be as hard as, like, the uh, Trial of the Sword. Because I've actually been playing Breath of the Wild as well. In addition to Tears of the Kingdom. And I even tried to do Trial of the Sword. That thing is hell. Like, it's very, very... Uh, it's much more difficult than I'd give it credit for. But that's kind of a good thing, too. Own it! Yo, it's good to see you. It's been a little bit. Hope life has been treating you well. How's it going, my dude? Have you been enjoying uh, Legend of Zelda Tears of a Kingdom? Or uh, Tears of Zelda since we haven't saved her and spent 60 hours? Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I thought I could have done something with that, but it, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Um, nobody saw that, right? We're good. So we have a block here. Not really too sure what that... Oh, wait. Maybe, uh, Yonabo can actually break this. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Go, go, go. Oh, uh, what do you got down here? Mmm... We got some carts. So we can do some Minecraft or something. Line of Hunting is my favorite fast time in the Breath of the Bottom. The Tears of the Kingdom is more powerful, so it's not that difficult. I mean, there's, like, not only that, but I also gotta go fight the dragon thing. You know what I mean? Like, the big dragons with, like, the multiple heads. I've, uh, I've actually had to face one. Are they actually that difficult? Usually, let's go. Um, okay. So, we have two pound blocks down. The next one is gonna be on floor four yonder. Uh, um, is this, like, a switch for it? I mean, technically it is. They're easy as hell. Oh, it doesn't seem too bad. I mean, they kind of look menacing from a distance, but I'd imagine you could probably cheese the fight if you just had, like, bomb arrows or something like that. Uh, Construct bow. I think we're good. We'll switch out with the... the yeah, get the strong. Uh, switch over to... Traveler sword. There you go. Uh, we don't need a Goro yet. We're good. We don't need a Goro just yet, my guy. Um, I need to keep in mind about the, uh, whatchamacallit, the hydrants. Those can actually be kind of useful for the lava passing. Not the direction I want to go. Yes, I see. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right, so far I gotta say, I do like the gimmick with this one. It's very uh, akin to what you would expect from, like, the Goro's, like, uh, like technology. They shoot their heads with a homing arrow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Homing arrows are a thing. This Ryan. Thank you for the lurk, man. Appreciate it. No worries, dude. Get the things you need to do. I appreciate you for stopping by. Hope it goes well. And again, thank you for your support, man. I appreciate you so much. <gasps> nice. Um, Yeah, we're heading back. <laughs> I'm going back. I'm going back. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. All right. Uh, oh, God. Um, yes, we made it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, we made it to Seymour. All right. Uh, we just got to wait for Unibo. Uh, oh, he can't go up. Interesting. But what if we do this first? <gasps> oh, there we go. It creates... Interesting. But what if we just change the direction? That's probably not high enough. Okay. Um, hmm. I have an idea. So what if we just make this into like its own ramp? I played enough Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 to make a decent ramp, so this should be able to work, right? Yeah. Yeah, that seems that that, that seems safe. Yeah, that seems safe. Here he goes, indeed. Uh, that looks good to me. Hmm. Too much on that. Uh, too much on that axis, my dude. Too much on the axe. Hey, Metal, really quick. I've been a big fan of the streams and enjoy being here. Yeah, dude, again, thank you so much for the Kai words, but holy shit. 
Damn, dude. Oh, dude, absolutely. Get in here, Mr. Ryan. You are VIP. You are definitely VIP material. Uh, refresh your browser. Type in anything uh, within TOS and the reward has been redeemed. I say don't just for that. What a legend. Absolute goat. I appreciate you, man. Oh, man. Well earned, dude. Welcome to the VIPs. Uh, we'll eventually get jackets. <laughs> Rise again. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Dude! No, thank you! Thank you for the 100 bitties, man. I appreciate you. Sure to pop up eventually. Oh, yeah. I mean, I see it on my end. Hopefully, you see it on your end, too. But again, thank you so much, dude. <gasps> Oh, wait a minute. See this over here. Maybe. Uh, actually, that kind of looks a little bit sus. It seems a little bit sus over here. Uh, yeah, that seems a little bit sus. But Yodobo, come here. I actually don't mind just keep sending you this way, so it's fine. Wow, that was actually really close. Holy shit. Uh, maybe we can do it. Let's lower this down just a little. Back to Lurk and Dale Rays, man. Appreciate you. Enjoy the Lurk. Hope that if you're still playing Dead by Daylight, dude, hope it goes well for you, my friend. I appreciate you. Oh. <laughs> At least the reload for this is actually pretty quick. I like that. I do like that. I don't like getting thrown off the stage, though. <laughs> Uh, I guess we got to ascend, maybe? Yeah, we can ascend through, thank god. Manning also has the XP you gain, so you earn the level the whole game. Oh my god. Asish, remind me never to do Madding. That just sounds brutal. In all the wrong way. Also, if you earn item at a certain point, they stop giving... They stop giving experience? Then what's the point? Alright, we're just gonna make a very elongated bridge. We're just going to make a very elongated bridge. So we could probably just make one that'll go straight up there and just be fine. That sounds, uh, that truly is earning the game of it, uh, the mode maddening. It sounds very maddening. But dude, I wish you the best of luck. Eventually, Frank Arnie. I mean, it makes sense, but it's also just, I feel like all the stipulations are giving you, wouldn't that be maddening enough? Oh, uh, we need one more, probably. All right, all right. So, nope. Slap that like button. Ooh. You can explain Castle Crashers. Hell yeah. Castle Crashers. Alright. Um. There we go. Perfect. I can do it. Uh. I don't need to go to four years of school for this either. I'll eventually have to go back to three houses. I did it. Maddening is not a difficult. It is a state of mind in your brain, isn't it, while you play it? It's kind of like a lifestyle at this point from the sounds of it. Like, you gotta commit to it. You gotta, you know, commit to every waking hour when you're playing the game. I think I'll stick with the uh, normal, probably. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of experience with Fire Emblem games, so I'm, I'm going to take the normal way out. All right, so we have floor one left. And floor... Yeah, just floor one. All right. So let's go head down there, guys. All right. All right, all right. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Like right over here. Then we got... Oh, we actually have two left. Okay, that's fine. And they're both on floor one, which is pretty nice. Easy. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I guess we went the wrong direction. It's so fun mid to late game. It's just the first five to six chapters we're not playing tested well. Is it just because, like, uh, for me, the reason why I kept putting down Fire Emblem here, uh, Three Houses so much is because, again, the last Fire Emblem game that I played was uh, Fire Emblem for the GBA, the one that we got in America for the first time ever. 
And like it was a really good game, but for how much they've added from the original from the Firebone GBA to three houses, it just kind of felt over I wouldn't say overwhelming, but there was just a ton of things you have to be, you know, uh acknowledging of, and I just didn't have the time to like really focus and consistently play it to actually absorb the new knowledge. So I'm just like, hey, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, actually, I'm kind of curious on something. It'd be stupid to try. I wonder if I could just ascend my way through here, then open the switch from the ground up. That's, uh, an interesting idea. Do I have anything that can actually float? Uh, I think these things can float. Take out these two. No, we can't take them out. Can't just have enough early resources for the game. You can't uh, develop your as well. Facts. Yo, ATM, dude. Good to see you, man. Happy Monday. Indeed. Happy Monday to you as well, man. How's it going, dude? Uh, what are you currently playing? Are you still working on the Legends of Heroes? Or did you jump into a new Zelda game? Uh, sure. Do we have any fans? I got some fans. So the GBA is Blazing Blade is my top five. Is Blazing Blade the name for the first one we got in North America? Or is that the... Then there's also that one. There's a Fire Emblem and also Sacred Stones, right? Will this work? It floats! Uh, kinda. It kinda floats. Uh... No, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I just kind of wanted to see if I could cheese, like, going under and then ascend my way through, but I guess not. Uh, maybe if I had something different, maybe. Uh, do we have anything different we could try? Uh, I mean, not... Oh, uh, well, I mean, we could always make a balloon. And a glider? Uh, I mean, a glider and a balloon. Yeah, that could have been a drive. Let's try that. Bring it back up. Blazing Blade is the one without the subdex and Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Blazing Blade was actually pretty good. I really did enjoy it. Um, I love the cast of characters. And Lynn was great. Hector was chivalrous. Uh, yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. Yeah, Elliewood, Hector, and Lynn. Yeah, yeah. Currently playing through the first Trails game and Bleak Sword DX, which is Devolver's latest release. Dude, sounds hype, man. How long? How many hours is the uh, the Trails game out of curiosity? Is it going to be a long endeavor or is it going to be relatively tame for you? Final Fantasy uh, 16 on Thursday. Hell yeah, dude. Are you going to play day one or are you just going to have it for the collection? Uh, I know I won't be able to play it because uh, that's... Because I'm pretty much going to be... I have my mortgage due here on... Wednesday, and that's when we just don't have funds for anything. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting that to actually work, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't think I can really do what I want to. Can't play 16 until December 31st when it comes out on the uh, PC. Is that when the like the Sony exclusivity thing is over? That's not too far away. Yes! Keep going! Weak. Uh, Link, you uh, like body weight and stuff. It's the dream team of Platinum Games. DMC Yoshi P. Wait, Yoshi P? Kingdom Hearts? ATM. Come on. You haven't played a single card. You haven't played Kingdom Hearts, have you, buddy? Oh, wow, this thing can actually... Oh, my God, we're dead. <laughs> so this thing can actually float in the lava just fine. Okay, so that's a mistake I made. Using, uh... Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. Uh, we're good. Oh, my God, dude. Oh. Uh, okay. I have a quarter of a heart. We're not taking damage. It's upside down, too. By God, we're screwed. Uh, I'm really making this hard for myself, but that's fine. What am I going to check out the demo? Oh, I could have done that instead of this. 
I actually have Liza P and uh, the the Final Fantasy demo installed on my PS4. I just have to jump into it at some point. Uh, have you played the demo so far, E-Team? Is it good? Can I get this thing to come back here or no? It's been too much time. Yeah, it's been a little bit too much time. That's not gonna work. That thing is for that thing is that thing is gone. <laughs> that thing is definitely gone. All right, that's fine. It looks really fun. It does look really fun. Actually, ATM's one who kind of told me about it during my whole Souls, like uh, I guess like my little my little edgy teenager Souls phase that I went through. Which I gotta go back to some of the Souls games, by the way, but it looks really good, and um, I get to be a real boy. It's gonna be great. Real boy. Check out the device. I can't take it out of here. I feel like DMC, you're gonna be in love with. Oh, dude, I love DMC. DMC is great. Oh, we can't even go under there and. I don't think we can actually do what I want to do. Like right there might bear like that might be the only thing I can like face through, so that's not gonna be the thing. Did I see the one piece live action trailer? I haven't seen the trailer, but I've seen that like the voice actor or the actor for Luffy cried after seeing it, which is wholesome, but I haven't actually seen the demo or the uh trailer. What are your thoughts to see? You should think it's gonna be good, bad, or mid. One of the good things about it is I heard that Oda's been uh, very involved with it, which is good. Uh, I I'm kind of giving up on this idea. This is just a fallacy. We're not going to be able to do this. Uh, so, break this. Oh my god, there goes my... Uh... <gasps> it's not broken yet! The rocket didn't explode in the lava? That's hilarious. Oh god, no, no, no. Oh. I love One Piece and I'll remain optimistic. That's the best way to put it, man. That's the best way to look at it. I'm sure it's going to be fine. If Oda's involved as they say he is, it should be fine. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not gonna happen. We gotta go up. Who hath summoned me? Yo, fourth page. Thank you so much for the ten biddies, man. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I didn't, but the benevolent uh, call me Mr. Ryan certainly probably did with the gifted sub. But hope you're doing well, man. How's it going? I I was trying to be very resourceful and break this game, but I did a terrible job at it. You mean with Rama stream, so I'm lurking. No worries, man. Enjoy the Lost Ark. Hope you have a good lurk and a good time with Rama, my dude. Tell uh, Papa Noodle I said hello. Not in that way. It might sound a little bit weird. Hello. Matt Owens is also very public with the fan base, so he's being the showrunner with him being the executive producer and the writer that leaves me hopeful. That is good. I'm glad to hear they have the, the right talent involved as well. Um, especially for these, like, West, like, the live action stuff. Sometimes that's not always the case so having that is ramen says hello <laughs> that's awesome we could have an entire conversation but i'll leave you and ramen to the thanks i know he's very passionate about lost Ark currently we're going up boys oh my god did it we hit something we hit something on our head that's hilarious we should be able to rest up here to recover our stamina no, we can't. Oh, la, 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 la. let's go over here. So I at least have a foot pull. It's not terrible. I mean, I, I believe that. I've seen a few of the reveals for the cast list, and it seems pretty fine. Um, I don't personally know the actors, but like uh, in terms of like appearance, it, it seems pretty solid. I'm just still. Questioning what they did with the whole Bleach uh, live action adaptation. It wasn't the worst anime adaptation I've seen so far. Definitely not the best, but definitely not the worst. Come here, buddy. Can you certainly can. 
There we go. Um, ba 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 ba. I want to go over there. I'm gonna go over there. We don't really have a way to throw. I wish we could use Yona, uh, Unibo to like launch ourselves that way, but unfortunately, we kind of can't. I guess we're just gonna go over the old-fashioned way. Okay, good. We made it up. Oh, thank God we can fuse right here. Or, or, I'm sorry, not fuse, but a sign. And this is probably how we get down here, yeah? Yes, it is. Ha 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 ha! Uh, we weren't meant to come the way that I wanted to, but we still figured out a way how to do it, so it's fine. Come to know we uh, interviews for One Piece YouTubers. It seems like an action fan of the manga. Somebody my faith in him. Nice! Matt Owens. Did he do anything with teching uh, 101 at all, by chance? That name kind of seems a little bit familiar now that you mentioned YouTubers. All right, one more. Um, let's head back to the beginning of the level. Uh, throw on the strong zone I shield. Actually, that's actually pretty fair. Um, I can't ascend right here. Just barely. Oh. Oh, it's just barely not acceptable. Which I think we could probably just climb our way up there and then just shield surf through it. Oh, ho, ho, Zelda, you thought of everything, haven't you? Uh, not really, actually. We're good. We're golden. Yes! Oh, good thing it caught. Good thing it caught. Oof. Ah, uh, we're good. All the time. I will never complain about Zonite charges. I never will. Uh, yeah, watch out for that guy. I don't like those like likes. They're they're pretty they're pretty devastating actions. The reason why the low most all evidence should fail is because of people working at it know nothing of the series, just doing it because of pop up with the filmers. But the anime man is uh, cut up with the manga and everything. I think it's one piece of might be able to break the curse. Very true. Very 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 well said. Um, I actually just finished um, Dragon Ball Evolution, uh, Hollywood's interpretation of Dragon Ball. And yeah, that's kind of a fair assessment. Um, you can definitely tell not, it was weird. There was actually some elements where they definitely knew certain things like the Mafuba. But yeah, it definitely seemed like it was a little bit confused about what they really wanted to do. Um, so there was that. Um, but yes, I have watched Dragon Ball Evolution so I can cross it off my bucket list. Um, 10 out of 10 IGN, but personally, I think it's like a four me. No, I don't need to use your ability. I need uh, Rejuice. Wait for it. Going. Garo! Uh, let's just bomb flower for the rest of fortune. <gasps> oh no. I forgot. Would you bust out the bomb flower in a very hot area? It, it explodes. <gasps> The more you know. <laughs> oh, I am not even mad. That's fine. That's that's fine. That's fine. all right. Uh, onward. So we need to get to floor uh, one, which we're pretty much like right there too. So it's fine. Um. Uh, you know what? He he can live another day. He's fine. He's fine. I'm not gonna waste my time on this one. Oh, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> eh. 
sent through here. Hopefully it's still within the building, so I don't go on top of the roof, but inside. Love it. Oh, we gotta break it from right here. Got it. I just need Yojibo. Oh, don't do it again. I almost did it again. I almost did it again. Also, because we don't have any fairies, I actually should probably have some steamed tomatoes. I probably should have some steamed tomatoes. Uh, how do I get away with Biolus design? Uh, I mean, it's Fire Emblem. Maybe that's it. You guys are own orbit. Uh, I mean, if you, you could always ask the same question for half the characters in Xenoblade Chronicles as well. Strong as an iron shield, I'll take that. Oh, we need to build the, uh... Is there anything I can use for, like, a pathway? Oh, I see you. I see the hydrant. You Dude, okay, so... First time when I... <laughs> Funny story. Um, I actually have a friend who was gonna go on, like, a trip. I bought Xenoblade Chronicles, and I didn't know really much any about it yet, besides being an anime game, and I heard 18 was really good. And I'm like, hey, do you want to borrow a game or something? He's like, sure, what do you have? I'm like, you want to borrow Xenoblade Chronicles? He's like, oh, what's it about? I'm like, anime and story. He's like, neat. So I'll borrow it. So I let him borrow it. He got through, like, uh, Paya's, like, evolution or something. He's like, yeah, just, it's not for me. Not for me. Uh, I can kind of see why he would feel that way. <laughs> Uh, I thought it was hilarious. Uh, stick this... Oh, wait, this is still our sword. Uh, we can keep the hammer. I guess it's gonna be good for, like, mining stuff later, if anything. So grab this. We could just use it as a default weapon. And I'm not saying anything against the Xenoblade, you know, ATM. It's just... Come on. Seriously. Come on. Admit they're doing sassy pants. I don't even know what that is. I gotta admit though, like I kind of died laughing when um the the artificial blade was first revealed and like uh like the facial reactions from like the main cast. I thought that was hilarious. I forget her name. It's it starts with a P. It's not Pico. It's something. You know who I'm talking about though. God. That's fine. That's back as well. The best in scenes is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, cool. We get to keep my little, uh, you know, structure. Neat. Charge! There we go. Final one. Let's go, boys. And girl, read you. Do it. I still need to go through, actually, plays, you know, Blade Chronicles 2 and 3. Not sure when, but it's definitely on my list at some point. Lava would be an instant death. It really would. It really would. Which I'm fine with. I'm fine. If Nintendo wants to insimulate like realism into it, I'm fine. Is this your final temple? If the only temples are the four with the sages, then yes. After this, my objective is probably to uh, do this quest. Recovering the hero sword. I kind of started this on accident. And I, I, I kind of, I was intrigued on where I was going. Think of different scenes. I think yes, poppies. Yes, that's it. When she's like, "Hello, master," and they're just like, F "What?" And he's like, "That's uh, that's the wrong setting for poppy. I'm sorry, Rex and the company." And then Rex is like, "Oh, you have a thing, all three. <laughs> God, I'm sorry, dude. Every time he says, "I'll show you a thing or three, it just makes me want to play sub like going forward. I hope you understand. Oh, he doesn't follow the trail. Got it. Um, I mean, the the main thing is just back at floor once. So I can just go back there. That impression is spot on, dude. I don't think so. I really don't think so, but I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, but like, again, one of the main reasons why I want to play through two and three is just because of, uh, I guess it's not really spoilers because they did it in like reveals for like the product, but like with Futures Redeem seeing Rex, like, you know, time skip, I'm like, bro, what a, like, holy shit. Like, so good. Master gave Dobby a sock. Dobby free. But, like, when you have an adult Rex, just like, 
I like your attitude, kiddo. Let me show them a thing or three. You're just like, uh, not as an lie. All right, let's go do the thing. Uh, let's go do the thing, boys. Ooh, oh, wait, these are, eh, I might be able to get some use out of them. Uh, combine two shields to make a good shield. Now I know what Alexa, no, 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 I'm gonna, <laughs> a rusty shield on top of Zonite shield. Hell yeah. All right, that's fine. Give me the sword. The glow up is the top. Th Seriously, it really is. It really is. Like, I did not really like Rex's initial design in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but like Xenoblade Chronicles 3, mm, so many belts. So many belts. Dolby is the best of the Lord of Rings character. Can't believe they picked Gollum over him to make a game about. Would you want ETM? Would you rather have a, instead of Hogwarts Legacy, would you prefer to have it Dobby, where the ultimate end goal is to get the acquainted Potter Sock to earn your freedom from the Malfoys? Is that what you want? We gotta smash those red rocks and find Zelda. We certainly do, Unibo. Almost enough to make me want to finish playing the zoo. You and me both, man. You and me both. Though, I mean, also with all the things I've seen that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 changes up, it looks really interesting. Um, I'm not going to say anything because it's still a new game, but there's there's some things I'm like, this looks pretty good. Dolby Sock Quest exclusive to the Switch. Oh, man. Nintendo, get on this. Get on this. I'm assuming... Oh! Oh! Your boy, your boy just recently finished Metroid Prime. So I think I'm gonna like this. I'm either gonna really like this fight or really hate it. It's just so gimmicky. Give me a Unibo. I know what to do, Sora. We probably throw you to, you know, go around. So good. What do we got? <clears throat> Love the first couple characters. Uh, Noah seems pretty cool. Uh, speaking of Lord of the Rings, that's the eye, right? <laughs> that's the eye. <laughs> Can't commit to a 100 hour of RGI for, I believe, I totally know that. Remind me to grab healing potions. Fourth page, grab healing potions. Yeah, fourth page, this is, uh, Croc, you need to grab some healing potions. Fourth page, thank you so much for the dead bits. Bye, Azara. It's because we were talking about Gobby. Oh, wait, no. Dobby. I combined Gollum and Dobby. Zelda is, I mean, she's probably not a monster. She's probably wholesome. Marbled, go oh, Goham is back. That's the uh, first boss from OOT, but rock form, right? This actually looks pretty sick. Run away! Um, what do we do? Oh, so his things explode? I think we have our secret. That did not work. Of course it wouldn't work. Um. Oh, idea. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you son of, oh my God. No, 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 no. Oh man, that was. That was painful. <laughs> that was uh, painful there. Dude, can I actually have some decent armor on now? Hang on, let me throw on the Tunic Awakening. We're on fire. Uh, we gotta sit with the uh, the, the the chunky stuff. Fine. Um, I have a few other ideas we could try. Yep, first boss in OT. It's so cool, I just realized that. I've actually been playing Gokkarin of Time as well. Hit or miss a little bit off stream too, it's just been great. Um, so seeing like these homages coming back is just so good. Uh, that didn't work. That's fine. Uh, recall. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, it kind of worked. You know, do the thing. Uh, oh wait, don't do a bomb arrow. Don't do a bomb arrow. I learned my lesson last time. We hit the legs? No. Huh? 
Yeah, he can't go too far back, so we're kind of good. I'm cheeky. I want to try something really quick. <laughs> oh my god, we're doing like no damage. Jeez. Um I guess it kind of worked. Uh let's see. We have some bigger damage weapons. It's very strong, you know. About. What if we try breaking his feet? Oh, so that's what you're supposed to do there, Sora. I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, and you can also just send him back to you, so that's kind of nice. This boss fight is definitely something else. I like it. Oh no, it broke. Oh, this thing is savage. Like, considering all the damage we're doing into this, this is savage. Oh, he must have, like, items or something like that. That's okay. because bring back the classic fields to the story so much more you need to finish the last eight chapters oh yeah i forgot engage was a thing engage kind of got my interest because like again it's kind of like a return to form but also kind of like has like in a sense the jojo stands with like the rings and everything i thought that was actually very interesting but also probably a cool thing for like you know the long dedicated fans of the fire Emblem franchise um the stowed hammer with the gloom sword all right let's do it oh my god Ooh, it's got a wave two. Or round two, I would say. Phase two, what are we going to call it? Oh, ho, ho, ho. yo, yo. Right nostalgia. Right in the nostalgia bone. All right, switch out of the Gloom Sword. It's doing too much damage to it. I love this fight. I love this boss. It's so cool. Oh, God. Um, Go back up there. I think it's just like no cooldown for recall. It's kind of good. Uh, can we just do a Klee's eyeball? I mean, you can, but it's not really doing anything. Good for protection. <laughs> go back up. Go back up. Go under. I think I need Unibo to follow me so I can actually do the thing. Uh, we don't need heat resistance, really. It's a, let's get a cup of milk. Here is good. Got him on the round back. Hell yeah, there we go. We got him on the round back. Uh, give me the Gloom Sword. 54. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, switch over to the Dark No, not the Dark Trousers. Uh, switch over to the Fierce of D, just so we can get some a little bit of an attack buff. Yes! <laughs> All right, GG, 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 GG. I think a waste of time. I like 30 characters in one, so almost all of them have a story of an impact. Not to mention how they use 8 to 11 characters with so much. Yeah, that definitely seems a bit interesting. Not in a good way, per se, but I mean, it's just an interesting way how they went with engage, to be honest. I didn't even. I don't think anybody was really asking for engage, were they? 
Did the fan base really want like a traditional Fire Emblem game after three houses and three hopes? Yeah, it kind of seems like it would be if you're cramming that many characters. Oh, it's a tear. We haven't seen those yet, have we? <laughs> When do I get my next row? Still waiting for that to actually happen. I do gotta say, I'm actually gonna really enjoy um uh, Unibo's uh, ability with like the summon like a very fast attack. That's actually pretty cool. Your next will be the next row. Hell yeah! I've been waiting for that. We've been waiting for that. Unibo, little rock, little rock. I've heard that voice. Are you the one who's been talking to us this whole time, Goro? Yes. I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a mighty warrior, and as a sage who, like you, could command fire. You fight using your body as a weapon, impressive. You are my descendant, the pride. Of the so this dude is a descendant of him and. Yaruk or whatever his name, the guy's like, way to go, buddy. What a bloodline. That monster to keep you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Secret stone? Demon King? Huh. So this is the first you've heard of any of this. Link's like, God, no, I've heard this enough. Yeah, but, uh, do, I hope we get to fight this guy. Like demon, like this king of Ganon or demise over this is looks really sick. Beside my fellow sages as the sage of fire, stronger than ever with my secret stone. However, we were no match for the demon king. Even my strongest blows weren't enough to break him. Rauru understood that we couldn't overcome the I wonder if, like, in the future games, if they're going to expand more on the Zonai. Especially with how much of a big impact they were on this one. That was the imprisoning war. And then sometime later. <laughs> of time, one of the six sages came to me. Her visit would set the Goron's duty in stone. The magic restraining the Demon King will be undone. He will return. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link. Pretty con I'm pretty sure this is Zelda, by the way, not like a descent, like an ancestor or something. Lend him your power, your fire, 
The Goron's mastery of fire. In that moment, the duty of the Goron people was clear. I'd like nothing more than to smash the Demon King. I swear that when the Demon King returns, the Sage of Fire will awaken again. The Goron Sage and the Goron people will fight alongside your swordsmen. And that's what you need to know about the imprisoning war and of our people's duty. You saved Goron City, but the Demon King still out there. You know, Ro, Little Rock, take up my secret stone and honor the pledge I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the swordsman. Link. Link. That's me! Well, I'm the Link to Link. <laughs> Oh, never mind. It's my duty to help you fight. Hmm. And he wants me to inherit this? Really? Uh, I don't know if I'm nearly as great as my ancestor. Oh, the man has self doubt him. He's but he's then, fine. You're doing your best, man. You're doing great. Out. He kind of sounds a little bit like Dan Green. Hmm. Like young Yugi, but a bit more, I guess, like resonance in the lower throat. Just a little bit. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Yes. Sick. Previous Fire Emblem games expected, especially you had a really nice blend of characters looking good on their own and soldiers going to war, but I feel the engage really leads into the bar and looking pretty and leads into the also <laughs> cheap in the three houses. I mean, fair enough. I'm assuming, like. I guess with the engaged though, they probably just wanted to have a more traditional approach to it. It would make the most sense, based on what I've seen and now. For the of YouTube, it doesn't, and it shows. I don't think it really looks good. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I didn't know that. There we go. We got all five, actually four rings. I'm sorry, four. With that ring, you'll be able to call on my power anytime, Goro. I promise. I'll be strong enough to fight beside you, no matter what happens. Okay, let's head back. Now, after we head back to Goro, Goro Village, we'll probably do recover the Master Sword. And I'll probably do something else, maybe. Or sitting on Zero Time. Good. 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 I think I still need to do the Geoglyphs. And we also need to talk to Pura. At some point as well. I've also been doing the depth stuff too, but not not nearly as much on stream. Like the depth thing has just been something I've been just like tackling away at night. Ah. Uh. Good. 
Yeah, honestly, the fire temple, the, like the fire temple, was okay. The final boss was awesome for the fire temple. Um, but I would probably say my least here was actually, uh, but the wind temple had that falling, uh, like it was just so good. I think overall my favorite temple though was probably the water one, just because of the zero gravity aspect. But I gotta say, like the fire one, I think might have had my favorite boss. I can hardly believe you. Make me worried like that, I oughta. Please don't be mad at President Unibo. It's okay, Slugu. I'm the one who made such a mess of things after all. If I had just been more careful. You said you put Goron City back to normal, and you did. You're the hero of Goron City. You were made a Unibo Co, and you're still now here now. I, I, thank you, Goro. Oh, we have to thank you too, Link. You've got the you got rid of the marbled rock rose and smiles are coming back to Goron City. I keep imagining that we might have happened if you hadn't broken that mask. Like uh, no, I can't even think about it. Ooh. President Zelda Prince not President, Princess Zelda wasn't angry that we ruined her mask, was she? Actually, we weren't able to catch up with her. All so strange. Now that I think about it, it seemed like she was walking toward the giant monster by choice. After that, we didn't even see her again. I do like the roller coaster aspect of the fire temple and probably being my least favorite. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. We actually, I actually kind of bypassed a lot of the roller coaster stuff. <laughs> but I feel you, I feel you. President Unibo, you think that maybe Princess Zelda is one of the bad guys? Huh? Well, what do you mean? Huh? Like maybe the giant monster was pretending to be Princess Zelda. Huh? No way! Huh. Hang on. Kind of think of the princess my ancestor referred to the Sage of Time. She said to be the swordsman Link. Now that I think about that, definitely was Princess Zelda. I don't know why or how she was there in the past. But whatever the case, that means that Princess Zelda we saw was an imposter. You sus. I'll ask my guys at Yodobo Code to search the area around the city for any leads in the princess. Even if you're not here with me, we're we'll still be connected, Link. You can count on me. Bow of Yodobo, Sage of Fire. Really annoying for you, you don't like it. I mean, I think I'm gonna kind of like it just based off how it shoots off. But again, like the thing I'm not a huge fan with the sage things, like if they move slightly, you can activate somebody else's ability. That's my only gripe with it. Hey Link, you visited Rito Village, Sora's Domain, and Gerudo Town. You gathered a lot of info by now. Why don't you go back and report all to Pura? Or she's eagerly hitting for you. We could, we could. Or I can get my master sword, probably. I don't know, maybe. I think we'll do that first. <laughs>